Fort Madison was a U.S. government trading post or factory that existed between 1808 and 1813, having been established by Article 9 of the Treaty of St. Louis in 1804. A temporary fort called Fort Bellevue was constructed in the fall of 1808, while the soldiers cut the timber for a permanent post, which was constructed starting in April 1809 and named Fort Madison. The facility was meant to counter British influence in the upper Mississippi Valley following the Chesapeake Affair in 1807. The factory traded with the Sauk, the Fox, the Iowa, and what was called the Des Moines River Sioux. Fort Madison was the third highest grossing factory in the whole system between 1808 and 1811, trading mainly in Hatter's furs and lead mined by the Sauk and the Fox near present-day Dubuque, Iowa. The post carried out its mission well, keeping most of the Sauk, the Fox, and the Iowa friendly toward the United States. The fort's main adversaries were the Ho-Chunk, known as Winnebago or Puant at the time, Menominee, and a small group of the Sauk. Fort Madison was attacked by the Ho-Chunk in March and April of 1812, and two soldiers were killed. In September of 1812, the Shawnee War Chief Tecumseh unleashed a theater-wide offensive, hitting Fort Madison, Fort Harrison, which was near present-day Terre Haute, Indiana, and Fort Wayne, Indiana, all within a few hours of each other. Fort Madison experienced a four-day siege from the 5th through the 8th of September and had one soldier killed. The factory was burned down during the fighting, and Fort Madison became a forward intelligence gathering outpost for the Army. The fort was plagued with guerrilla attacks throughout 1813, having six men killed in two separate engagements in July. At the same time, food quality dropped due to corruption on the part of the ration contractor. With nothing but rotten pork and potatoes remaining to eat, and winter coming on, the garrison burned the fort and returned to St. Louis in early November of 1813.